Hello everybody and welcome to my 14th advanced Excel tutorial and this tutorial is going to show you how to use uh, array formulas in order to count how many uh, records there are with with more than one criteria. So normally you just use a count if, so you highlight this range and do count if the, the range equals London or something, but if you want to then add in and it also equals January then you're going to struggle. Um, so array formulas is just a way of getting around this um, so I'm going to just start writing it because that's probably the easiest way to explain it um, so we're going to put equals and then we're going to put sum so I know I said we're going to count it but you still put sum um, and then in order to actually sum it up there's another thing you have to do after you've counted it um, But so I'll show you how to do count first um, and just follow along um, and it will make sense in the end. So open bracket, and then we want to put our range that we're comparing against. So we want to put these values, and we want to say when they're equal to January. Close brackets, and then we want to put uh, the we want to put a times in. So you put times, um, and then you put we also want when this array equals to London and then we want to close off the sum bracket uh, and and that is it so this is going to count all of the how many times both this side equals January and this side equals London. So we should get a, a value of one, two, three. So we press control shift and enter. Um, and it's saying that I've put an error in and it's because I haven't put in my final parentheses. So close that off and then control shift and enter. And then you'll notice it's come through as a value of three. Um, so this might look pretty intimidating at the moment um, but all you've got to remember for count is that you have to put it all in a sum and then you have to have the multiple criteria um, and so you'll have your the, the column you're looking at um, and you can't just highlight the whole column it does have to be arranged like this um, equals something and then you put a times if you uh, if you want it to be um, and you put a plus if you want it to be or um, and then you put your next one and then you can put in as many as you want um, so we can also put let's put another one in so times and then over here um, and I've missed out my bracket times C2 to sort of 14 equals 100 close bracket Control shift and enter and then that's only going to show one because I've only got one where it equals January and London and 100 um, if I put in or um, so I'll make this bit simpler by getting rid of the hundred so if I put in a plus here and make it or control shift and enter you notice it's going to have 10 so it's going one two three four five one two three four five um, so for for counting um, it, it's not amazingly useful when you haven't got an and um, but let's say we put in um, an and there and then put in we copy this and put or London uh, and then change the London to New Delhi control shift and enter then that's going to show four because it's also finding a January for New Delhi as well so this is saying it's got to be January um, but B2 to B14 that can be London or New De Delhi um, so that's how you use 
uh, an array formula to count with multiple criteria. Um, I'm just going to show you one more thing before I move on to um, move on to how you do sums in the next tutorial. Uh, so that uh, and that is just I want to be able to show you how you take out these um, and you would drag your formulas along. Um, so we don't want to have January here. We actually want to reference this cell. Um, we always want it to reference the column above it because we're going to drag this formula across but it always needs to be row 2 so let's put our dollar sign in there um, and then B4 to B12 always needs to be B2 to B14 always needs to be the same and A2 to A14 always needs to be the same um, and then Control Shift Enter and then when we drag this across it's going to give us all of our answers for months. Um, so it's just the same as, as how you use normal formulas. Instead of having your criteria here, you'd just substitute it out with a value, right? So, um, and then that just lets you um, drag your formulas across. And it's also letting me drag it down there. Um, except it hasn't worked because I haven't done control shift enter um, so just remember to always do your control shift enter there you go as you can see now I have a table that is summing it up for all of these um, and it's dynamic so as you change these it will also change on the opposite side so if I change that you'll notice that July has gone down um, for uh, London, it hasn't gone up for New York because I spelled New York wrong. Um, but if I put that in, and then it's gone up, then so that's how you use count in array formulas. Um, and in the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how you would use the uh, array formulas to do a sum. So thanks for listening, and I hope to catch.